Hi, Kevin again here with Mopeka. And today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you the installation procedures on putting a Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor here on this 18,000 gallon storage facility tank. It's important to understand the dynamics of the tank that you're working with to make sure that you know where the right spot to install the Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna go through some of the features of this 18,000 gallon tank and show you where we like to install the sensors. So I'm gonna draw your attention to the front of the tank where we have our traditional gauge and float, along with our data plate for information about this tank. Down here we have our valve system underneath the tank. And then toward the end of the tank, we have our pressure release valves. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna be installing the Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor here underneath the tank in between the valves. The reason we like this spot so much is the fact that there's very little sediment buildup that will accumulate around the valves, which will then turn around and give us a very clear signal into the tank from the very bottom all the way to the very top. At the same time, there's no mechanicals or piping within this space that can interfere with the Mopeka sensor. Before I get into the physical installation of the Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor on this tank, it's important to make sure that we have the proper tools to make sure that this is a very successful installation. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have, you wanna make sure that you have your smartphone and you have the Mopeka Copilot app downloaded and ready to go. In addition, you're gonna need your Mopeka uh, ID. If you do not have one, make sure you reach out to your licensed Mopeka distributor or contact support at mopeka.com. Once you have that, let's go through the actual physical tools you're gonna to need for this installation. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need one standard Phillips head screwdriver, one flat head screwdriver. In addition, you're going to also need your Mopeka Pro Bulk Sensor Kit. Let's go through the interior of this. First thing you're going to see is you're going to have your magnetic remote mount antenna for communications. You're going to go ahead and you're going to see that you have your Mopeka Pro Plus Bulk Sensor. Also within the kit, you'll see that you have two Lithium Energizer Ultimate Lithiums included in your kit and a packet of Sonic Grease. If for whatever reason you do not have the Mopeka Copilot app, also within the kit, you'll see this handy QR code that you can scan with your phone, which will take you directly to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store to get the Mopeka Copilot app. In addition, if you happen to have a tank that has a weld seam on the bottom, that means you're going to have to purchase a Mopeka weld mounting kit. Have that ready and ready to go. If you do not have a seam as we do today, then we're just going to go ahead and do the installation with the sensor, and this will not be necessary. The next step we want to do is go ahead and take our Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor and assemble it and get it ready for installation. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and grab your Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor and go ahead and grab your magnetic mount remote antenna. It has one brass fitting at one end, and there is one port on the sensor itself that it can be installed on. So go ahead and install that in gently. You do not need a screwdriver. Just hand tighten it. Make sure it's connected and it's firm. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the lid of the sensor to get access to the battery compartment. So go ahead and grab your Phillips head screwdriver and go ahead and start removing the screws. Please be aware these are small screws. So if you're working in a yard like this, uh, dropping them could be a problem trying to find them again. I like to turn around and put them back in the box. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our flathead screwdriver. And you're going to look and you're going to see on the left hand side and the right hand side of the sensor, there's a little indentation. I'm going to take the flathead of the screw driver here and just gently press it in and then pry it open slightly. Um, if it's a little tight, a little firm, that's okay. It's an environmentally sealed cap for waterproof but that's gonna turn around and come right off. We're gonna put that to the side. Now that gives us access to the internal battery compartment. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my AAA Ultimate Lithium Energizer batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and install it here. You'll see the plus and minuses are clearly marked, so line them up, put it in. When I put the second battery in, I'm gonna get a series of two beeps, which is gonna tell me that it how has power. There, we've got the two beeps. What the sensor is now doing is it's now going to be scanning the local area for cellular coverage. When it connects, it'll come back with three quick beeps, letting me know it's now talking to the Mopeka back system. 
there. We've heard our three beeps, and we know that the sensor has now got power and communicating through the cellular network. Next step, let's get our cap back on. Go ahead and line it up so that the Mopeka is facing upwards along with your antenna. Put it on. It will only fit one way. Push it down firmly so that the seals are set. And go ahead and grab your screws. And once again, being careful and using your Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and tighten those in. And now we're ready for installing the Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor. First thing I like to do before I start getting out my Copilot app is to go ahead and mount the magnetic antenna. What I like to try to do is I usually put it on the front of the tank first. However, if you happen to know in the general vicinity where your cell tower is, you're going to want to put the antenna as high up onto the tank as you can, or at least on the side of the tank that is closest to the antenna. We don't have a, a ladder with me today, so I'm going to put it up manually about as high as I can go. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring out our Mopeka Copilot app. And we're logged into it now. And we're going to go ahead and hit Add Device at the top right hand of your screen. What that's going to do, it's going to activate the camera function on your smartphone. And uh, it's going to be looking for this QR code that's on the bottom of the sensor. We're going to go ahead and take the QR code and we're going to scan it using the phone. There it goes. And what this has now happened is that the system is now recording the sensor and its serial number ready for installation on this tank. We've scanned now the sensor and our next screen is whether or not we've installed the batteries. Since we've installed the batteries previous to this screen, we're going to go ahead and hit the green button once and wait for the sensor to talk to the Mopeka Copilot app. We've now says here the batteries are connected and the green button at the bottom of the screen has been highlighted and we can go to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next, which brings us to our device info screen. I'm going to go ahead and give this a name for the device. In this case, it's the 18,000 gallon storage. The address there, the device address is not the physical location, but every single Mopeka sensor has its own identif unique identifier that we call the device address. That was pre-filled when you scanned the QR code on the bottom of the sensor. Next, we're going to move to tank number. This is going to be one of three tanks at this location, so I'm going to call this tank one. Next, we're going to move down to asset type, and we're going to click into this screen, and I'm going to pick its company bulk inventory, and I'm going to click on commodity, which is going to be today propane butane. Okay. Notice that some of the fields here have red asterisks next to them. These are required and must be pre -fill, it must be filled in before you can go to the next step. So as you can see here, I filled everything in. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit next, which brings me to assignment in terms of who the co-pilot uh, actual owner is. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the location services on my phone to geocode the location of the sensor. We're going to go ahead and click into dealer. And this is Twin Rivers, so I'm going to scroll down to the T's. Two Rivers Propane, there we go. Tank size, I'm going to click into the screen. Now, we have set up this tank in its dimensions previous to this installation because we knew we were going to be working on this 18,000 gallons, so I've already preloaded all the specifics in terms of diameter, size, and gallons, and created a tank profile. However, if you do not have one, what you need to do is hit the Add button, which will bring up the Add New Tank screen, and you're going to put in the dimensions and any specific information that you find located on the data plate that's in the front of the tank. However, we've already preloaded it, so I'm going to choose it. You'll notice that we've designated the tank by name in terms of size, it's an 18,000 gallon, and what we advise you to do is um, put in the overall diameter as part of the name, because many places have similar size tanks, uh, but they're all different heights and dimensions. So this way you'll be able to know that, hey, I can use this profile on any 18,000 gallon uh, with the overall height of 105. Next, we're gonna go to branch and click in there, and there's only one branch for this location, and it's their headquarters branch. We're going to go ahead and click that and hit done. 
Once again, if you did not pre-fill branches, you could hit add, and that'll bring up the add new branch screen, and you would fill in the information there. But we've already pre-done that, so we're at headquarters. And then the last field to fill out on the screen is customer. We're gonna go ahead and click into there. And I've already put in one customer, which is Twin Rivers Propane, being that this is their bulk storage. However, once again, if you hadn't preloaded the customer, you can hit the add button, which will bring up the add new customer screen, which you would fill out and hit save. Now that I filled out all the required fields, the next button in the right hand corner has gone from light green to dark green, telling us that we've now fit all the requirements so we can go to the next stage. Let's go ahead and hit next. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get cellular communication. Now, We've already put in the batteries previously, and we heard the three beeps letting us know it's communicating. And the sensor now has told the Copilot app that we are on AT&T and we have full bar service here. So we're good. If it doesn't pop up right away, all you have to do is hit the green sync button on the sensor, as you see in the video, once and wait 30 to 60 seconds. Once again, we've met all the requirements of the screen, and the next button is now illuminated, allowing us to go to the next screen. On the next screen, we now are being instructed to put the grease on our sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see here, I'm gonna put the grease on the middle of the sensor, right on the sensor pad itself, not on the magnets. We advise you to put a good size amount of dielectric grease on there. We advise you to also use the whole packet that came in your kit. The reason for this is for two, a few reasons. One, it will take out all the air between the sensor and the tank, promoting the sonar signal into your tank to be able to read, and two, it will also turn around and help create a suction as well as preventing any water getting in between the sensor and your tank. I'm going to go ahead and hit next since we're ready to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this on the tank itself. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we have our, our level and we also have our quality read. So on this screen, we're ready to put the sensor on the tank. As you can see, we're, we have our level and accuracy screen in front of us. And up at the top, we have the three axis gimbal that's gonna help us level the sensor on the tank. At the same time, on the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see our quality. This is going to tell us how well and how clean the signal is going into the tank. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install this in between the valves underneath the tank while looking at my screen and making sure that I am as level as I possibly can be. As you can see, I got on, I am fairly level, it does not need to be perfect, and within 30 to 60 seconds, you'll see that quality uh, a gauge at the bottom go up. Now, this one went immediately up, which is what we normally experience on bulk tanks, and we're now fully in the green. Because we have met both requirements for levelness and quality, the next button is now illuminated, we can go to the next screen. Now that I've hit this, now what's gonna end up happening is the sonar sensor is going to be reading into the tank and coming back with a measurement of what it sees in this tank. It can take up to several minutes for this to happen, so please be patient. Once this has happened, it's gonna turn around and give you a percentage and volume. I'm gonna compare this against the gauge. We're showing here around 10, around 10% or 7.3%. Um, do not be surprised if you see the gauge and the sonar sensor off by up to five to 7%. This is to be expected. Traditional floats in, in tanks do not take into the curvature of the tank. Um, they assume that the tanks are linear, while the Mopeka sonar sensor will turn around and be more accurate and be able to take this into account. So now that I've confirmed this, that we're within reason, I'm gonna go ahead and say confirm details, which now allows me to hit the next button. So now we're done and we're installed on this, uh, we've installed the Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor. But at this last screen, if you wish to share the information with a customer or a user, all you have to do here is put in their email address and hit add, and they will then turn around and get a, an invitation to come and join you to be able to monitor their tank on their own phone. As previously mentioned, you may encounter a tank that has a seam. The seam will be like this on the bottom of your tank. What you're gonna to wanna to do is then take your Mopeka uh, wedge mounting kit, and you're gonna line up the groove with the actual seam itself. This now creates a solid 
base to go ahead and install the Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor or residential sensor, which will clip right in here with the antenna coming out this side. Before you actually put the sensor in, you're going to fill this gap with the included pack of dielectric grease and then install and pop the sensor into the cradle. Once you've done that, you're done. Now we've successfully installed the Mopeka Pro Plus bulk sensor on this tank. We have added it to our Copilot app as well as our Mopeka dashboard. And now you have peace of mind of knowing what's going on in this tank and always knowing how much product you have.